My name is Brian Craw from Cyber Semiconductor. I work with the CAD group there. Um, and some of the other individuals helped out on this uh, paper, David Crutchfield, Martin Oberkonig, Marcus Heigl, and Martin O'Keefe. Um, we were tasked uh, last year to look into our requirements management, uh, mainly focused on functional verification and how we could help you know, link these things together in a more, uh, I don't know, more automated and robust manner than uh, the manual process that we're, we w have been doing. Um, so part of this presentation, I'm gonna go through the, some of the problems with the manual tracking, and then I'm gonna get into and go over the flow and then some of the tools. We've got some industry tools, we've got some homegrown tools, things we've put together to enable this whole flow, and then we'll hit some conclusions. All right, so as everybody knows, ma all manual processes are much more error prone than automated processes. Um, tr uh, requirements tracking, no different. Uh, over here on the left, or my left, we've got a uh, kind of a small snippet of a traceability, what we call a traceability matrix. It's a big, ugly spreadsheet with requirements, and there's documents, and we're, you know, references, and you can see there's fancy color coding, and it gets so big and hard to zoom in and out of, it's just a pain to use. Um, so they get overly complex. People, it's, it's hard to update them. It's hard to find stuff in them. Um, it's easy to miss requirement changes. As are they filtered down through all the way down to the verification groups? Um, and we also have easy to get incomplete coverage metrics requirement mapping. So this is, um, I have a requirement. I have some verification that's meeting that requirement and I don't have a complete map, right? It could be multiple pieces of, ver of uh, coverage constructs coming back to meet that requirement, and I'm missing some of them. <clears throat> Another big part of this uh, was our uh, Cypress's push into automotive, um, trying to be more serious about the ISO 26262 compliance, and a big piece of that is uh, traceability. Um, and traceability is much easier to achieve with uh, a tool and uh, well-defined processes. Um, that's what the customers are going to want to see, and that's what compli compliance requires. 